Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. Um, today is Sunday, March 28th, 2021, and I am in my home here in Charleston, South Carolina, and it is absolutely beautiful outside today. It's another gorgeous day outside. Um, I think today is supposed to get like really close to like 80 degrees. There's like a really nice light breeze, beautiful blue sky, really sunny. All the trees are beautiful today. All the flowers are growing. All these bushes have beautiful blooms and blossoms on them. Really, really beautiful outside. A perfect day today. Um, today, I chose to wear as my fragrance of the day today. Habit Rouge Eau de Toilette by Guerlain. It just felt, it just seemed appropriate to wear this today for some reason. Um, really beautiful. It's very uh, sophisticated and soft, but it's very masculine and mature. Um, it has that Guerlain DNA called Guerlainade, which consists of like um, bergamot, rose, patchouli, jasmine, tonka bean, vanilla. It has that Guerlain DNA in it, which is just perfect for today. But let me know what you're wearing in the comment section because I like to know what people are wearing because I'm not familiar with some fragrances and I like to ask questions um, about certain fragrances that people like and are wearing. So let me know in the comment section what you're wearing is your fragrance to, of the day today. Mine is Habit Rouge Eau de Toilette by Guerlain. Um, but on my review yesterday, I said that I wanted to start talking about um, fragrance related topics. Um, I want to start talking about other things um, that have to do with fragrances and perfumery other than just talking about specific fragrances like doing fragrance reviews. I want to talk about other things other than just specific fragrances like I want to talk about house, the houses, um, the perfume houses, the perfumers themselves and um, I want to pick out what um, specific notes are like today. I'm going to be talking about aldehydes. I just want to start talking about all different kinds of things that has to do with perfumes and fragrances. Um, but today I did choose to talk about, I want to talk about aldehydes and what aldehydes are and why they are in perfumes, etc. Um, there's a lot of new people coming into the fragrance community that are going to eventually see the word aldehyde listed as like in the note breakdown or they're going to hear about aldehydes. There's a lot of people in the fragrance community now that's been here for a while that have read aldehydes and have heard of aldehydes but they don't know what they are. So I'm going to explain what aldehydes are. Aldehydes are basically organic compounds found in nature, like in plants and flowers, etc. Um, for example, for example, um, aldehydes are in roses or in rose oil. And those aldehydes that are in rose oil um, give that rose that distinct rose smell. And there's aldehydes in cinnamon bark. And those aldehydes that are in cinnamon bark give that cinnamon smell and taste. Those aldehydes give that, that specific smell and taste. So that's what aldehydes are, or it is organic compounds that make certain things taste and smell the way that they do. Now there's aldehydes actually recreated in laboratories and labs. Um, they're recreated synthetically in labs. Um, for a couple of different reasons. One is sustainability of the environment. Um, there's certain um, natural organic compounds that people like to use in perfumery and fragrances and stuff that are getting so expensive. The demand is so high that it's hurting the environment. Um, so it's more sustainable to create it in the laboratory and also the, the cost is sometimes extremely expensive like for example um, Madagascar vanilla and Mexican vanilla are extremely expensive is because 
the demand is so high for that because that is like the best quality vanilla you can get. The demand is so high, they're having a hard time keeping up and sustaining that. So they're raising the prices to where it's like extremely expensive. So it's, it's cheaper and more inexpensive to create that in a laboratory instead of using like the real natural organic compound aldehydes. They'll recreate that in a laboratory and it's more sustainable and over the long run it's so much more inexpensive um, than the real thing. So that's the reason they use synthetic um, notes and synthetic aldehydes and organic compounds in the laboratory because of those two reasons. Those are the two main reasons. Um, there are different kinds of aldehydes. There's lots of different kinds of aldehydes and there's um, almost every single perfume and cologne and fragrance created today have aldehydes in them. Um, and usually they're synthetic um, aldehydes, but they create certain smells and fragrances. Like there's certain aldehydes um, that smell like vanilla, like I was just talking about. Um, that synthetic note or aldehyde is called vanillin and it's recreated in laboratory um, to smell just like vanilla. And then there's, um, if you ever have a fragrance or perfume that smells really citrusy and clean and soapy, that's usually aldehydes and it's usually synthetic. And I have two examples of that. Um, one is Mugler cologne. A lot of people, um, are familiar with this. This has a really soapy, citrusy smell. Those are aldehydes and they're synthetic aldehydes created in a laboratory. Um, excuse me. And also um, this um, Ferrari Bright Neroli. This has a really soapy, clean, citrusy smell. That's aldehydes. That's synthetic notes created in laboratory. Um, but that's basically what aldehydes are. Um, so I hope that y'all got something from this and it was actually fun to talk about this today. I sort of already knew what aldehydes were and how it was used in fragrances, but it was actually fun doing this because I went through um, some of my notes this morning before this review so I could really get familiar. So I would have everything in my head that I needed to talk about and that was actually fun um, going through some of my older notes about aldehydes and stuff. So. Um, I think I'm really going to enjoy talking about different fragrance topics and other than just fragrance reviews all the time. Um, and if anybody out there has suggestions, um, put them down in the comment section. If you want to talk about anything, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't even have to be about fragrances. If you have any questions or want to talk to me about something, put them in the comment section. Um, if you have any feedback on this, um, review or this topic, put them down in the comment sections. Anything you want to talk about or anything you want me to see, put it down in the comment section so I can, you know, read it. But anyway, I hope that y'all got something from this and I will be back probably tomorrow to talk about something maybe completely different. Maybe I'll talk about my favorite fragrance house, which is Guerlain. Um, and maybe I'll go into more detail about what the Guerlain DNA is, which is Guerlainade. Um, I don't know. It could be, I could be talking about anything. Who knows? But anyway, stay tuned and I hope that y'all got something from this and I will be back later. All right. See ya. Bye.